Uh, so hi everyone. Um, today I just wanted to take a careful look at Russia, and um, I guess kind of the background here is that I started to look at a couple things here in Russia, and uh, basically just ginormous areas. So I felt like, wow, I really need to understand this, um, <clears throat> and uh, particularly uh, this side of Russia was kind of the more mysterious side. Um, it's also closer to America. Um, and also closer to Asia. So most of the wealth and most of the people live on this side of Russia. Um, and kind of what happened here um, is that uh, I, I was uh, basically looking at the Google Earth map. And, you know, for a while I've, I've uh, understood a little bit about Russia here. And um, I started to um, basically see, uh, I was familiar with this Earl Mountain Range. Um, and uh, kind of like the division in Russia. So basically this little dot here is Moscow, uh, the largest city in Russia. Um, and I noticed a couple of these rivers in here, um, particularly this one, and I noticed, wow, uh, that, that river looks like about the same size as the Nile, um, maybe even a little bit larger. So I started to realize that, um, aha, and it looks like this river um, goes uh, right past Moscow here. And so I thought to myself, um, you know, like, where is the desirable places to live in Russia? Um, let me just switch to a population map. So you can kind of see the population map here. There's basically nobody out here in Russia. Um, and, <clears throat> you know, if, if we zoom in here, you can kind of see um, here's Moscow and this river. Um, and so what I wanted to do here today is basically look at all of Russia, try to understand this massive um you know, pretty much continent um, and see if we can kind of understand what's going on in Russia relative to these rivers. So um, if I transition back here, so this map, you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, so there's actually quite a number of rivers that flow north um, in Russia. Um, and from that other map, uh, it's kind of hard to see. It looks like a lot of these rivers flow south, um, particularly this one, the Volga River. Um, and there's a couple others. So basically creates a very interesting um, thing because perhaps most of the rivers flow north in Russia. And yet this main river uh, flows south. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it's a transition back here. These little drainage things, you can kind of see this major drainage looks like it perhaps you know these these are probably flowing this way um higher mountains over here and so on so uh it just creates some interesting um you know this is probably flowing out this way and so on and this is kind of the part of the volga river here so um so how do we understand everything in russia is basically the question um that i'm posing um and then kind of looking at the river system here um, so basically what I did is I did this search here, rivers in Russia, and uh, you know, the search engine popped up all these different rivers, uh, primarily by uh, length of the river, but then it also had a cool little picture, so I tried to pick some of the rivers that had uh, both uh, length and some kind of coolness factor to them, um, or interesting area in general. So, you know, there's a lot of rivers here, um, but some of these, like this uh, one that we were looking at on that uh, other map, um, so you can kind of see this this river here is the biggest river in Russia um, and if you kind of overlay the population you can see the population here and then here's kind of a city light map so this shows kind of the it's a little bit harder to see but you can kind of see where the lights are um, so there's means electricity in those areas um, and then further uh, to kind of understand what's going on is this is the climate map so Basically, this area of Russia is pretty similar here, and then there's a totally different area of Russia back in here, and then it gets very complex back in here, pretty cold and uh, complicated, right? Um, so, uh, and you can kind of see some of this parts of Russia is similar over here, even out to Norway, uh, Finland, and uh, Sweden, right? So, um, so it, it really kind of brought kind of this idea to me so like what's going on here like how did russia develop um you know like uh, a lot of people are living out here in the mediterranean um but why did people go back into say moscow 
and how did the river systems kind of affect uh, modern Russia and also the really far past? Um, and you know, it just, it just, I got really excited because I was like, oh wow, I think I finally understand Russia here. You know, I started to see these, um, you know, large bodies of water, the Black Sea and the Caspian, and kind of thought about Ukraine here and how that related to Moscow and the Ural Mountains. And then I realized, wow, there's still a lot more to understand because it's basically all the way back over to here with Russia. So there's just a lot to understand, but, um, you know, one way to look at it is like, you know, I, I, if you're living um, close to the river, um, it's kind of nicer part, maybe a nicer part of Russia or maybe near, there's not a whole lot of uh, really large lakes. Uh, I mean, because here's the Black Sea and the Caspian, and Ukraine kind of basically took a lot of this uh, ocean front for the Black Sea, and then it heads out into the Mediterranean. Um, and uh, but basically, most of the people are living uh, on in this area. So I wanted to start with this river and just look at it carefully and kind of travel down the river and see what all is going on. How does this uh, does this part of Russia work? Um, and I have a couple other things I just wanted to show you. So, um, so this is the search, right? But it doesn't really put it on a map, unfortunately. So I found this web page. Looked pretty good. It kind of outlined some of the larger rivers, but to be honest, um, it's still not that great because it doesn't show the uh, kind of this situation, right? So you can kind of start to see where the rivers are. You can see that this river is very important, kind of on the edge of this major mountain range. Um, heading out there so so that doesn't it doesn't really tell you the importance and also um, it's hard to see uh, because you kind of gotta add the population map into here right so aha so now you start to see uh, there's a few people here and you can kind of see this river heading off into this way um, but then it does also curve back so you can kind of see the importance of certain other cities alternatives to Moscow and even up into uh, St. Petersburg and some other areas. And it kind of makes you wonder, you know, you can kind of see a vague river here and uh, heading up into Ukraine and so on. So it kind of starts to answer some of these questions um, about, uh, you know, basically what's going on. So pretty much every major city in the world uh, either has a major river or is right on the ocean front, right? So if you think about it, Paris, even Paris, which is inside of France, has the river there. Um, and there's just so many other examples, um, Cairo here, um, or a port city like Istanbul, right? So, and, um, but yet it still is complicated. So, you know, I mean, basically we're going to try to understand everything here in Russia. Um, so you can kind of see that it gets, you know, it's uh, kind of some interesting towns out into here. Um, and let me just switch back uh, for a second here to this other guy. So, again, um, you know, we're basically trying to understand all these rivers. Um, I thought this picture was kind of interesting. It was some, I think this might be the Volga River or something, but heading off towards Moscow kind of gives you an idea for what maybe early uh, life uh, might have been like and looks I don't know hard to say here 1800s 1700s who knows um, you can see there the boats are all sailboats so um, perhaps before steam power um, and just kind of like floating on the river here and just what life might have been like um, and it's just amazing to see some of these sailboats uh, you know you wonder how far up the river they could go it's probably pretty risky there's little sandbars on the river and then just building a huge building right all along the river here. So you can imagine maybe walking along here um, might be easier to uh, just float a boat with some uh, stuff on the, on the river and stuff. So it just, I don't know, it just seemed really interesting to me to try to look at essentially all the rivers in Russia. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll go through these. Um, so this river is the largest river in Russia. Um, you know, some 2,000 plus miles. Um, so again, uh, when we looked at the um, a river here, I mean, essentially it's as big as the Nile and maybe even bigger in some parts. So um, very important river to kind of look at. I'm just gonna type in uh, the river, V-O-L-G-A, a river and Moscow and shows right up here. And uh, it will kind of uh, give us just a vague idea for this. So 
it's kind of pulling us in here. So it is hard to see, and I'm going to pull off the population here. And again, if we transition back here to this map, you can kind of see what's going on. So there's a couple of really mysterious things, right? So Moscow, what's really strange about rivers, right? So basically you have the mountain ranges over in, in these sides. So it kind of tells you a little bit about the uh, topology of the area. And then these little cities along the river. Um, <clears throat> and then Moscow here, which is by far the biggest city in Russia. And, you know, essentially, if we go back here, it's really hard to see, but you can kind of see what's going on, right? So there's basically Moscow right there, right? And you can kind of start to see these weird little quicks in the river and heading up. And if I add the population map, you can kind of start to see some of these larger cities along the river so these areas tell us approximately what's going on along this river heading all the way back into moscow and and essentially these cities right here are as big as moscow right so and even another city there popping in right and uh it is interesting because you know the mountain range this is this is a river heading south, right? Most of the other rivers that we're going to look at are heading the other direction, and there's just a lot to look at in here. So, you know, we could go into any of these cities and study them. Um, I'm going to turn this off and see if we can kind of see where that river is. So, on the other map, this actually goes past Moscow. And there's this city here, which is kind of the headwater of this Volga River. So the interesting thing, if you were living in Moscow, you're kind of on a different part of that Volga River, which is a much smaller part. So it tells you a little bit about the history here that it's just different up in this part of the this Volga River. Um, but uh, you can kind of see the river in Moscow. If you zoom in but this is not this is definitely not part of it yet so it, it just has a huge and there may and I was even really confused because there's this other river called the Don River and it may be that one but this this looks like it's heading out to the uh, Volga River but there's another river so if you go back to this map and we're gonna try to look at that one so this river here is the Don River, and it almost touches Moscow. So there's basically a little hill area in here that redirected it around. Um, so let's go back to the Google Earth and see. So um, if I were to add this Don River, River Russia, see what that shows. So kind of pulls out there so you can start to see that it's just really freaking close to the uh this is the dawn and it basically almost touches there so that makes this city very interesting in russia right and then heads out to here and it looks like this might even be cleaner it it, it, it i've seen some other satellite imagery showing some very dirty parts of the river so it looks, you know, it's just, it's just important to think about the drainage here. So, because this is just thousands of miles of cities and everything, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so you can kind of see what's going on with this Don River um, here. And it's just really interesting to see. And you can see that, you know, it's just the parts of the Don are actually even coming just off almost off the Volga River there so so uh, if we transition back we can maybe see all of this in perspective right so basically we were looking in Moscow and kind of this other other area so the Don is coming through here and the Volga River comes out into this area so this whole area is almost a drainage area and you see there's like a slight little mountain range on top of there that's pulling this in here and even something heading up into the arctic and the rest of kind of uh 
far north Europe. So, and then there's this whole mountain range here, kind of splitting this thing, and you can kind of see maybe some other passages here. So, this shapes everything. So, um, if we transition back, and I'm going to zoom out again, and let's just look at the whole picture again. So, this is the population one, right? So, we just looked at the Don River here, and then this Volga River heading out through here. So, you kind of even see there's some other stuff. This heads out into Ukraine. You can see a river here for Ukraine. Um, and, um, yeah, so you can almost see the bias here in Moscow kind of heading out. It's a weird side here. This is probably out towards heading out to Europe. Maybe not even towards a river, but, um, and you can kind of see here. I'm just kind of turn it here so you can see it. And then off in the far distance, you can almost see St. Petersburg. Um, and, uh, but yeah, so this kind of gives us an idea basically for uh, Russia. And I think that might even be the Don River out into this, or that's probably even part of the uh, Volga. But anyway, so, uh, but yeah, so basically, um, this is almost everything that we need to know. Um, in terms of like population and really looking at a bigger concept of Russia because there's just not that many people. But um, but the next section is basically going to be the rest of this. So let's just transition back for a second here. So um, I really hate this picture, but this is of the Moskova River um, and it heads past Moscow and the Kremlin. And here is a picture with the Kremlin in the background. And... Um, We'll try to get some more detail on this, but essentially that, this is the Moscow River, right? So you can see Moscow and then Moscow, and it kind of heads through there. So I have a little dot on it, and I just wanted to kind of go through, and you can see. So the interesting part that we learned from this is this heads out into Europe, right? So this is heading out, you know, towards Europe, uh, Pol Poland, and even the Ukraine, right? So essentially, as we move in here, you can kind of see, you can imagine yourself, kind of hard to see here, but this river basically running through here, and this is going to go right through Moscow. So you can imagine floating down this river, and these are the kind of the, let's put Moscow on the horizon here. So you can see the windy river going down in through here, and then heading right into Moscow. And then like a road here, heading in. So this is some pretty, pretty, pretty farmland actually, right outside of Moscow. And just following the river here, you can kind of see, now this is where it gets complicated, right? So you can kind of start to see right around here. And I put all the Russian names. You can probably change the English names, but um, but basically this is Moscow, if you want to go and look at it. And just heading into Moscow. So this is, you can start to see some of the buildings loading up here for downtown right here in the background. Um, and it gets pretty complicated and maybe even some weird housing development. So it's just, whoa, what's going on? And even here, there's like two directions, maybe even a whole island. I noticed on the Wikipedia page, they talk about these islands. Um, and certainly it'd be fun to maybe visit some of these islands if you were a young Russian hanging out. Um, and, uh, and then now we're kind of getting into these buildings here. So it's probably going to take a real long time to load, but this is basically downtown, right? And and if you look back, you can see this. So this is all going to head out to the Volga River eventually, but you can kind of see this is like, you know, one version of downtown Moscow and the river kind of heading in through here. So it's likely that, you know, like, this is Moscow, Russia, it says. Battle of Moscow, KGB, theater, Moscow Conservatory, Foreign Affairs, building Russian Academy of Sciences, which is pretty good. 
Moscow State University, and so on. So all of that kind of being fairly close to the river and something like that. So these are kind of the uh, main points here. So, uh, so basically kind of maybe more academic on this side. And that actually is heading out towards uh, Volga River, right? Um, and uh, you can kind of see some uh, some things. So perhaps most of the downtown being in this area, but maybe even a new part of academic Moscow off in this area. Um, and we'll just kind of look at everything here on the river here and kind of see everything from Moscow. So and the river, it, it looks pretty interesting, right? You can kind of see it looks like it's kind of winding off here. And not even sure if I didn't know, you wouldn't know that it was going this way, but it's going that way. And, um, you know, so actually maybe a lot of uh, farmland here on the edge of Moscow, right? And there it says Moscow River, so we just followed it through. And um, we'll just zoom out here, and that's going to head all the way. There you can kind of see in the really far distance and okay so now we see it right so you can see kind of the river it just it's gonna do some crazy winding maybe some mountain ranging but it basically heads back over through here so almost like the river might even head out this way if there's major we're talking thousands and millions of years but basically it's like you can kind of see that you know there was some some uh it's been some changes but this this part is perhaps from the earl mountains you can kind of start to see this mountain range here and and this this is definitely a russian moscow centered perspective and this is not to say that moscow is the center of russia and you know there's a lot of geography way out that way so we're gonna try to look at that um I know this is going to be a complicated discussion, but um, but you can kind of start to see everything over here. That's the rest of Europe, and uh, kind of heading out here. So, and there's some new interesting cities all in here. I've I looked at these guys, Tallinn and Riga and so on. But this is a whole different area of river system. But certainly this is a ginormous river, right, heading out here. Um, and uh, but there's a super interesting just all kinds of like interesting arctic life heading out into that way and uh we'll take a look at the other rivers in a second here uh, so just to conclude here with some couple of facts so this is the longest river in europe clearly what we saw is this is basically as big as the nile or even bigger um you know and uh, basically it's heading through um you know this part of russia into the caspian sea so it says about two thousand. 194 miles and some other details here so and again you can see the map and certainly there's a whole other interesting part here and i would definitely say these two cities would be worth looking at um because they're heading on the other side this is the earl mountain range you can see a little city called looks like you can call it like earl but anyway so uh basically this is the uh reverse step so, and just before we change this whole discussion, so this is the Don River, and remember this is the Volga we were just looking at. So, you can see a little part heading into another country. This could be very interesting. Um, as a political river, just trying to create peace between Russia and Ukraine and even uh, Azerbaijan and other countries, right? Um, but um, basically, you can see it heading out here. Um, so, we're going to cross this we, we just looked at this guy and this guy. Now we're going to look at all these others. Now, these all head north. And actually, this is going to be perhaps what we're going to learn most from in terms of the new parts of Russia and the parts of Russia that not a lot of people know about. So this Alb River is what we're going to look at next. And that basically is a huge river, too. You can see it's basically as big or longer than the Volga River that we looked at. Um, but the picture that really blew my mind um was this picture um and uh yeah it was just a really cool picture i'm gonna load it up here but you can kind of see here it's just drainage into the arctic and it's probably gonna take a long time to load because it's so uh huge but um but basically this all river you can kind of see shows a map here we'll load that one too 
Um, but um, it's uh, you know it's 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 just a, a huge river. So it's the uh, world's seventh longest river at two thousand three hundred miles. So it's actually longer than the Volga. Um, but uh, let's see if that image is finally loaded. Ah, didn't load yet. Ah, there it is. So loaded. So this is just a crazy image. Well, uh, and this is the top of the North Pole essentially. So we can just see so much interesting stuff. A lot of kind of uh, dirt from uh, drainage here. Um, and uh, just a really awesome satellite image here looking at this. And oftentimes there's a lot of clouds in the Arctic because it's cold and the clouds are usually created in the Arctic. And so it's this is a pretty difficult picture to get. Um, just seeing, and it looks like we can get zoomed in way more here. So, um, but uh, yeah, pretty high resolution image. And you can kind of see this here. I'm gonna go to the, switch to the Google Earth in a second. Um, so it's really hard to identify this river. Um, it's uh, it's a huge river, but you can kind of start to see here. So let's just transition back to the other map because it kind of defines it easier. So this, you can kind of see what's going on. Um, and just the interesting side of this is, so there's a lot of cities upriver here, and that's because it'd be less polluted, cleaner, fresher water. Um, and uh, also this is the Arctic, so it gets colder and colder as you head north. Um, and some interesting little lakes here you can see on the river and even some inland lakes here. These can be really pretty um, sometimes. Um, and uh, Let's see if we can look at this on this. So this area, so this, to me, this map gives us the best view, right? So it shows us that that's the river, right? And it's kind of from all these things. So certainly some very high mountains out into here and this heading into uh, the uh, Middle East almost, right? And let me just zoom out a little bit more so you can see. So basically and this is a complicated part maybe a reverse flood plane i'm not even sure so um but this is the all river so you can kind of see here almost like a minnesota area with all these little tiny lakes that um it's kind of hard to see on the map if you're not zoomed really in but you can kind of see the lakes here so certainly um a town like this or this this little town um, might be super interesting just to look as a starting town for the uh, river and we'll see if we can get that so I'm gonna transition back to the other map and we're gonna see if we can find that town um, so basically that all river we're gonna look here and you can see there's all these little lakes and there's the town it just showed up so it kind of heads out through this way and bypasses this and this guy is some pretty beefy mountain range some sort so and uh, let's just transition this like this and you can kind of see so this is all looking north into the arctic so it kind of had to bypass this so you know some pretty interesting that's that other town that we saw so basically it's kind of heading here and this would be the Ob River main main town you can kind of see some other towns and a lot of little lakes tiny little lakes and very interesting kind of you see all this stuff here and heading down so um and um yeah so we're gonna zoom in here see what the Wikipedia entered is so it's called Sargat um uh, perhaps so what all interesting cathedral picture but Anyway, so um, kind of a, a interesting town. Maybe even could be flooded pretty easily. You notice that it's on the same side as the mountain, so maybe there's a little bit of a hill here, so the floodplain kind of bypasses. And this town maybe really gets some flooding. But um, but yeah, so basically the general idea here for the Auburn River, um, and. Uh, Hard, I don't know, it seems a little confusing, right? You can see this Earl Mountain Range. It's hard to appreciate how important this Earl Mountains are um, in terms of dividing everything in Russia. So this is kind of the first, you know, this uh, area here. And this is just so far north. Um, it's hard to, let me zoom out. Oh, my gosh. 
So you can kind of see where we're looking at here. So that was the Ob River heading out over through here. And this mountain range is so dividing in Russia and actually heading into here. So Middle East and all that. But and you can kind of see this Ob River again and the rest of Russia and just maybe some very mysterious place off into here um, and uh, heading out and perhaps even warmer. So, you know, it's maybe colder up here, but uh, maybe uh, drier down in here. So get the desert and stuff. So, um, but uh, interesting to see. So I'll just switch back to the, uh, this map here. So basically, we looked at uh, this Ob River heading through here, and uh, you know it's uh, quite quite the river. It, this this picture is a real picture, so kind of see what it might look like. So that was that weird little area on the uh, Ob River in here heading out, and uh, yeah, just an amazing photo. It's hard to even you can't really even see that city but that city was probably back way back in here somewhere cloudy day for that city but uh, um but yeah so next we're gonna go a little bit further east so before i head out there this you can kind of see the population so we were looking at that little city right in here and you can see there's some night it's actually this guy that's a little bit more bright at night um, or actually population wise and that's the whole population is basically along there so this river does have another city up into here this might even be heading out and out of the country I think I can add the uh, international borders so yeah definitely still part of Russia so actually it's just warmer back in here but also drier so you can see although it's probably on the Orb River even even this stuff so maybe a side river off into here and maybe another really interesting headwater city out into here before you get to the edge of russia and this yellow line is kind of the edge and you can see that uh yeah so this kind of a forefront town maybe a lot of uh people from the middle east heading out into here it might be pretty nice actually uh, but maybe colder um as well and uh, some other kind of like interesting Russian towns heading off by this lake uh, so next we're gonna we just looked at this river here but uh, I will look at this river. we basically kind of looked at it um, but let's go a little bit further and look at this one um, the Lena River so um, basically that's that and i got a little image more detailed so kind of see it's just this this portion here so it's very far from the rest of russia um remember this was like 2000 miles we're talking 2000 another 2000 6000 miles this is the largest country in the world so even 7000 miles from moscow but um but uh basically another river heading north and you can see basically this principal city here Yucatex and um, almost sounds like an Eskimo name but you can kind of see some weird little area here this might even be kind of a formal lake and uh, you know pretty cold too so this is pretty far north and you can see this delta here um, so we'll try to and the nice part about seeing this side of Russia is this is getting towards um, Asia, you can see China, Mongolia. So I just wanted to skip that middle one because this is kind of more interesting because you might have a lot of Asians um, and uh, even uh, getting close to America here. So, um, and you can kind of see why this might be a central city. Maybe up in here, there might be some other interesting cities. You can see this. So I think um, we'll transition to the uh, other map in a second. Okay, so here we are on the Lena River, um, basically on the creek. And this, the delta is kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can even turn off this. So essentially the delta is up in here, uh, this whole region. 
so um, perhaps even this part may be biased, but that this town was the town. So we'll, let's transition back. So basically, we're looking at here, um, and I'll see if I can even make that a little bit easier to spot. So we're basically heading out here. So this town is, and if I turn on the population map here, this is the population one. You can kind of see, I can bring this a little brighter. So that's like the only spot really for people out here. And you can even turn on the light, night light map and see these are like little night, pop, like electric places that, uh, but um, anyways, so basically this is the range there. Um, and that's the pretty much only town out here it's uh, very far from everything um except for asia so and even this is kind of far from china and mongolia but you can kind of see parts of uh, basically the end of russia here so um and there's mongolia so um basically this mountain range kind of reversing the flow and then maybe a sudden little rivers in this area as well but um but that there is this town um perhaps one of the most important kind of strategic towns in russia right um and uh you know actually kind of a kind of pretty far north and cold right so this is up near even north of some parts of alaska um and uh, quite a large town so um might ask yourself What's going on out here i can turn on the climate map and you kind of see what's going on with the climate so even just on the edge of this climate change so you can kind of see this is perhaps colder getting colder off into this range and uh maybe uh this is heading down towards china and so on so so basically we're talking about a pretty edge kind of edge of the this uh climate change and so basically russia has a very similar climate even at this point but it changes kind of dramatically right at this river front here and we can kind of see the river running right through that climate climate spot so um just interesting and i'll zoom out to see so you can see where we are at and this is kind of getting on the edge. So again, there wasn't really anything else out here in terms of population. You see the rest of China, just, uh, you know, there's basically nobody here except for this little tiny light spot here, even hard to see. So anyway, so, but basically that's the town. We'll try to zoom in and just look at what it looks like along this river. So. This is the river flowing here and um, you see maybe even some subtowns. So again, interesting little problem, right? Because of flooding, you can kind of see they're on the non-flood side, but it's loading up here. And uh, yeah, so uh, that would be another little very important Russian town and quite large little kind of interesting little rivers in here. You wonder what's going on. Um, and a couple of little Korean school. That's interesting. So um, uh, maybe even an airport here um, to get in and out of the town and uh, kind of look at what this looks like. You can kind of see the edge here, but uh, hey, kind of a hard town to live in a little bit. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of farming you can see. So maybe just, um, yeah, you just wonder What's going on out here? So anyway, um, so there's quite a number of other rivers to study. I might just end up with this guy, Amar River, um, primarily because it's kind of another river that looks like it's essentially heading north. And this is one of my most interesting parts of Russia because it's close to the United States and also getting into uh, working with uh, the rest of Asia. So. There's that guy, um, and then I think this was that other interesting kind of middle river. Um, and then this is more of the, uh, maybe it looks like, so it's called the Ob River, but then the real 
and this other whatever has another name. So, but we already looked kind of at that guy. Um, and uh, this one would also be very interesting. It looks like um, Akarever. So, uh, you know, it's uh, part of the Volga, you could say, right? So, kind of already looked at that one. And uh, and then here is more of that middle river that we didn't really look at. And yeah, it would be good to look at this one. Um, and I'm kind of thinking it would be really awesome for certain reasons to look at that. Um, and again, here you can kind of see, and maybe we got a cool satellite image here on this this river. This looks like more part of the that middle middle piece. Um, and then this is the one that we we're gonna hopefully finish up here. So this heads off here into a, kind of a, against the interesting part about this river is that so the earth is spinning here and uh, the water flows against uh, the sunrise, so to speak. Um, but we'll try to, let me move this guy over to here. So, um, and again, another river kind of heading out here um kind of an interesting guy to look at as well so and um you know just another guy here so this one actually looks super interesting as well just a particular chain and we just looked at this part um and then just the list of all these rivers and you can kind of see um overall what's going on here with this kind of map um, but um, basically Siberia and stuff. So what we want to do is maybe just take a final look um, kind of at uh, these guys. So you can see this this big guy here. We just looked at that little town. Um, and then the one that we kind of missed was this guy, um, but it's very close to the Alb River. And uh, maybe, uh, actually this one looks very carefully, uh, very c careful straight <laughs> river here, but um, and I think this map will load up now. So, yeah, you can kind of see all this kind of pretty good. Actually, this is the best map we've seen yet, Russian rivers. So, um, yeah, it just basically gives us everything. So, um, we probably spent a lot of time on this, and this 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 guy looks interesting. I like how it has the little dots for the mountain range here. And um, maybe we'll just cl close up here, but I was going to look at this one. Um and uh, but probably be more worth the time to look at uh, this guy now that I look at this map more carefully. Um, and uh, but uh, we'll just leave that for you. You can take a look at this guy and see. Um, clearly, this was like one of the only towns out there. Maybe this town here would be a big kind of a town to look at on that river, or even this Ob River. We kind of kind of didn't really realize that this this one heads off into another country, but. Uh, we could see that would be interesting to see so like how this country was formed and how that's related to the river and even goes through another country here and then here so but uh, overall you can see and st. Petersburg kind of not really on a river but just on the uh, ocean or bay front here um, heading out into Europe so just interesting to think about that and then Moscow actually showing a little bit a little bit away from the river there right um, but these are maybe the bigger parts of that river. Um, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed everything here. Um, I had fun looking at this. And uh, there's just a lot to study. Um, and, uh, you know, as you look around the world, we, we looked at a very major part of the entire Earth. So that's why it took so long. Um, and certainly uh, this river right in here is a huge one. Um, to understand and you can kind of saw this mountain range and we looked here at this guy as well so uh, but this is just a huge area I mean we you know this, this is the United States right so this is Mississippi but we looked at just a ton of stuff so ah, a little bit relief to get everything and you can see that this is uh, India's river and kind of puts things into perspective this whole area this whole floodplain basically is the biggest in the world I would say uh, you know, even the Amazon, gosh, this is the Amazon here. So we, we really did look at a lot of different waterways. Um, and you can kind of see this uh, here, uh, uh, this and, and kind of, you know, Great Lakes of Africa and even the lakes up here in the Great Lakes. 
And uh, so, yeah, so just super interesting. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you see anything interesting uh, that we should uh, double check on here. Um, certainly there was that kind of like middle mountain range. I think there was that little river that we kind of, not a little, but a huge river, but kind of that middle point in here. So it'd be interesting to see. Um, I think maybe it was this guy. I don't know. Anyway, it was around here. This this, this was this one, and there was something like this in here. So, uh, but yeah, this, this edge river would be very interesting to see. Um, and again, uh, you know, the climate map, um, as we study everything, you know, it's really interesting to look at the climate and kind of think, okay, so, you know, like, what's it like to live here? And what would, what, what would, how does the climate affect it? How does the river systems affect it? Where, where you're trying to do business with or work with and all that. Um, anyway, thanks.